Well, I don't know if you guys are able to see that as clear as I can. But you can see where the faces are coming right here in the clouds. They're coming in, and they're looking down on the earth. Then they turn looking forward. <coughs> Anyhow. I wanted to share with you guys real quick. Um, a dream that I had. Uh, it was like we were all being held in a, uh, as hostage. Okay, not all of us, but it was like I was there being held as a hostage. And, uh, and I said, man, I said, in another country, just a, like in a third world country someplace. And the people, they were all doing their jobs, just like everybody does their jobs, blindly going about their business. Nobody really knows what's going on. And uh, just doing what they're told. And that's kind of the way the world is right now. But uh, I asked this guy, I said, look, man, who from my country knows that I'm here? And he goes, um, he said something like, uh, your contact from uh, your country knows you're here. He's, uh, and I said, who is he? And he goes, he's an Illuminati. I'm going, Illuminati? And... Uh, And you, they were building cages where they could just basically put people in them and they were hanging. Kind of like they'd run like chickens through chicken cages. S something like that. You know, but uh, just running people through a production line. And uh, this is all getting ready to happen. And most people, you guys, even like I said, the police will be losing their authority. And that is going to be the time when God's chosen will be taken out of here. There's no doubt about it. I was shown it, clearly shown. And, uh, and I can see where everything's at, you know, because nobody's, nobody's left yet. I've seen a lot of date setting done, but nobody's left yet, and they're not going to. But uh, in here, uh, you know, Illuminati, Masons... Who was our first Mason that you know of? Our first president? Yeah. And uh, think about this for a moment, you guys. You know, ever notice like on school buses, you got government tags. Look at the tags on the back of a school bus and it says government. Look at the tags on the back of police car. It says government. God's the higher authority. When, when... When everybody's doing God's will, because God said our will is not his will. And look at what he did with Israel. Every time they kept, when they would cry out to the Lord, Lord, he would deliver them, you know, from their enemies. But he brought their enemies against them, you know, brought them against them. We're here to know what good and evil is. And uh, most people, like it said, love the darkness. They love willingly being ignorant. They love to be ignorant. That's why it says, don't deceive your own selves. Scripture is very clear, man. You acknowledge God in all your ways, and it'll be better for you. Um, when, um, you know, when you're of this world, Satan's the prince of this world. And it says, love not the world or the things that are in it. And uh, if you do, you're the enemy of God. And we're here to know what good and evil is. And everybody's here to make a choice. And it's a short-lived life, you know. And yet still people choose. You know. You guys really, basically, you know, like I said, government, Illuminati, Masons, whatever, you know. They're all uh, vessels of dishonor. And the Lord can use them. In any way he wants. You know, even the churches, man, they've gotten all their 501Cs. Just like the Church of Satan. See, God's made it clear. You know, they're giving them out to the Church of Satan, too. They're giving it out to Muslim, Muslim temples. All these people in America, they've all got it. That's why the word says, what does God in 
um, Christ and Baal have in common? Nothing. But yet, you see how all these churches have in common with these different religions. You know, they've all got what in common? They shouldn't have, but they do. That's where the world came in. They're not following Christ, man. They they love this life. They love the things that are in it. But uh, this is what I was seeing, man, in there. It was uh, said Illuminati. Well, Illuminati, these people are all in high places, man. They are your government. I'm sure many of you have said, well, the guy in the White House, whoever is president, he's not really president. He's just uh, somebody for everybody to look at, thinking who it is. But the real people are behind the curtain. You know, like the Wizard of Oz, close that curtain. The dog pulls the curtain back so you can see, you know. Um, they're all subject to the highest power, God, the maker, the creator of it all. And uh, God in Scripture says that. If there's evil in a city, isn't it me, God, who brought it? Yes. I mean, he, he tells you so clearly you know, the things that are coming and happening all around. And he brings it against you when you turn away from him. And he does this so that we will turn around. And, you know, like Nineveh, they repented. You know, this place ain't doing it, man. They're so far from it, man. They're thinking, you know, Trump's coming back, man. 24, man, hang tough. You know, and that's what they're going to do to the very end. And this was never our home, you guys. Never. And, uh, but anyhow, everything's going to be okay, you guys. We just have to uh, rest in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why we had our eyes open. And, uh, you know, everything, anything that we do, you know, it's all very plainly known. That's why, you know, we don't hide. We come right out in the open and say what we say. Not that anybody's listening. You know, when I was in my doctor's appointment, man, that lady doctor, she sat there looking at me the whole time. Didn't even blink an eye. Well, I just went on and on and on, you know, witnessing about these times, showing her photos of things that you can't deny. And didn't even blink an eye. And it's like, you know, that's why I think we're at this point now. That's why I said it. Let the wicked be wicked. Let the just be just. Let, you know, and that's what the Bible says. Just let this stuff be. Let it be. They're going to be what they want to be. Neither did they repent. Um, this is what I've been seeing, you know. Basically, you guys, I just want to be kicking back someplace where I can uh, just wait it out now. Because there's nothing any of us can do other than just rest in the Lord, man. You know, and let the word of God abide in you, man. The more the more you get this word in you, the more you see this place for what it really is. I mean for what it really is. And it's not um it's not what everybody thinks. It never was, man. People have been indoctrinated. Bible says raise your child when they're young and when they grow up they won't stray from it. So is it any wonder you see what you see? You know, everybody, you know, wanting more of it, you know, thinking, you know, that certain people had it all. Now they want it. It's their time, you know, making you want it. Well, you know, the only certain people that really had it all here, it was the wicked. It was always the wicked, you know, always. I mean, there were some people like uh, Joe, you know, he took care of people, he helped people, um, people were hungry, or, you know, he fed them, and, but look at his sons, they were out partying, marrying, having a good time, and, uh, Job was sacrificing for them, the daughters were there, when Satan came in, destroyed them, just destroyed them, you know, And God's a good God, man. If you're living and doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, God protects those that are that really love him. And uh, we're here to be tried. That's why it says, blessed are those after they've been tried. 
But that's what that dream was showing me, man. This place is like an assembly line. And uh, everybody's going through it to... Uh, it's over here. You know, people are... This is the judgment of God. What you see happening on the world right now spiritually. And look how the world can't see it. You know? That's what it is. It's exactly what it is. Anyhow, you guys. Um, be at peace, man. Rest in the Lord. And uh, we want out of here, man. We want to be out of this place, man. These bodies are frail. They're corruptible. Um, we got a spirit in them. You know, he opened our eyes to see the truth. You know, and this is where we should just be drawn close to Christ, man. And, and, and you know, you see the world for what it is. And then look at what he came here and did. You know, saved us. Washed us with his blood so that we could be saved from this. You know, made a way out for us. And yet these people, you know, they still want it. You know, it's what's everything that's happening. It's not good. It's not good. That's why the judgment of God begins with the church. You know, it's, uh, I remember that time that I was sitting there watching that, a guy that came from Texas with his family. He asked Charles Lawson, he said, I drove 17 hours to get here from Texas, man. He goes, uh, would you baptize me and my family? And I was standing in line waiting to talk, you know, and then I heard Charles Lawson say, oh, we haven't done that here in 40 years. He goes, you got to be a member of this church. I'm thinking to myself, man, that would have only taken a second, you know, to baptize him and his family, you know, and to deny Something like that, you know. This place, and they carry guns in their church. I was told there's up to five guys at all times in their church carrying guns. And I'm like, whoa, this is... Then I heard it from other churches, you know, from other people saying it. They do it in their church. Their pastor asked them to do it. And then I started really seeing just how, you know, blind and wicked everything is here and you know this is what i'm saying you guys we have to just totally be trusted in the lord and uh accept everything because everything he's doing is just you read the word of god it's perfectly clear what's happening and why you know and he's going to be our joy when he shows up and we're changed these vile bodies are changed we're in our glorified bodies man You'll be, you know, we're going to be exceedingly glad. This is, you know, we're living in carnal flesh, man, that's decaying and, uh, you know, you suffer. This life is for that, you know, but when you're dying and you're struggling to hold on for the stuff, the things of this world, um, that's the wrong thing. We need to be seeking Christ daily, like it says, seek him daily uh, resting in him and uh, praising God for everything, giving thanks for everything and uh, teaching our children this way. And that's not what's happening today. And it ain't, and it's done here. And the judgment that's coming, there's a reason why nobody sees, there's a reason why we see. And uh, everybody's been tried. You know, and soon... Everything will come to uh, come to be known for what it was, you know, what people have been doing. I, I, I don't know what to think about all the people I've met that say they know. You know, it's like that person I met in here now, that family reunion. You know, I had to sit there and talk to a couple of them. Go, oh, yeah, 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 I know we're in the end times, you know. And uh, there's, she's, she, there's about 80 of us here, but, you know, they're talking with other family members that are just, you know, dead as can be. But they're talking worldly, like laughing and, you know, loving it still. And I'm like, how can you, if you know these times are coming and you know the wrath of God that's coming on these people, how can you uh, still be chit-chatting with these people like the love of this world? And not 
you know, you should know. If you got the Spirit of God in you, you should know. If they got the Spirit of the world and you say, you know, these are your family, you're laughing and you're loving with them, well, well this is right on the cuff of the edge. It's right on the edge of it, you know, the edge of the cuff. The cuff, you know, it's right on the edge. And you still... Um, I don't see how it's possible. But like I said, everything's going to work out like it's supposed to. But that's what I've seen, you guys. Illuminati, Masons, they're all government. That's who's, you know, the people behind the curtain. You know, these people that are really, really, really extremely wealthy, they're, you know, they all know what they're doing. They're all, you know, this is what they do, you know. But it's all coming to an end. God's bringing everything to the surface, man. It's not going to be much longer. So rest in the Lord, you guys. Be at peace. And uh, just totally trust in Him. You know, we all want out of these bodies, man. We want to get into our glorified bodies, be with the Lord, and be out of here. And uh, it's soon going to happen, you know. Remember, the spirits that are working, it's not the people. They're just vessels. And uh, they work through these people, man. They, they use their bodies as a vessel. They're here doing what they do. And uh, they're damned. They just don't know it. But uh, that's why he says your covenant with death and hell is annulled. You know, because God's always been in control of everything and everybody's been tried and that's what they were always a vessel of dishonor. They didn't know it any more than when when Satan was created and all the fallen angels. God's known everything from the beginning. He knows everything. He knows who's who. And uh, we're just learning, you know. Uh, be therefore separate, you guys. Know it for what it is, man. Be separate. This stuff's coming to an end. And those that want to sit there and hang out and be buddy-buddy with what's wicked and evil, they're going to soon find out, you know, wasn't what they thought. Your family? No, my family is not of this world. My family, it's like Jesus said, are those that do the will of God. And people are going to find this out real soon. God bless you guys. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.